name is John. And I'm a free man. I'm 29 years old and I've spent the last seven years locked up for something that wasn't my fault. I'm not saying I wasn't involved at all, but I was the only one who got the blame. So now I'm out. And my life begins. Again. Starting today. You, John? Yeah. Just right, please. Right. Okay, so you got nice big bathroom there, decent size. Bath for bathing. Decent sized bedroom there, complete with a bed for kipping on. Follow me through into here. Nice, decent sized lounge, kitchen, everything you need. You got a TV, you got a couch, pretty much everything you need to make yourself comfortable. Now, if you can do me a favour before you get sitting down, if you can just sign on the dotted line there, please. Remember the rules no pets, no smoking, no parties, no fucking about. There's your key. You gotta be at my place for 9.30 on a Tuesday morning. You know where it is, so don't get lost. Enjoy. What's this shit all? I can tell you now, I ain't fucking staying here for long. I mean, look at it, there's dirt everywhere for fuck's sake. My cell was cleaner than this. Get me some money. And I'm off. Get me a proper place. So, how are you finding it on the outside? It's all right. I suppose. Okay. Have you found a job yet? <laughs> Is she having a laugh? There ain't no jobs out there, especially for people like me. Oh. Have you tried looking yet? What's the point? I'm guessing you don't want to, for fear of rejection. You're taking a piss? If that's how you see it. She ain't right in the head, that woman. She's supposed to be here to help me. All she does is put me down. Have you done this? Have you done that? <sighs> like she gives a shit.
did it make you feel watching them play? What, what do you mean? Well, you said you went to the park and watched the children play, and I'm asking how that made you feel. I don't know. So you didn't feel anything then? No. I, I just went out. I didn't plan on going to the park. I just, I just kind of ended up there. It's where I used to go when I was a kid. Do you have fond memories of playing there with your parents? Moved away. What kind of parents just fuck off without letting you know? I mean, they never even wrote to me. It was me who suffered all those years. How hard could it have been for them? I don't care. Fuck them. I wonder if they even know I'm out. Inside, there was things to do. A routine to follow, places to be, jobs to be done. <laughs> and my mates. <laughs> I can't believe I miss my mates. Ashamed in what way? Of me. What I'm supposed to have done. Do you think that's why they moved? Do you think they should have understood that you were innocent in all this then? Of course not. I wasn't the only one in the car. Who was driving? I was. Was the car yours? I stole it. But you just can't blame me. Why? Because. Because what? Just because. OK. You know, once you come to terms with what you've done, if you make peace with your past, then the only thing left is to move forward. So you think I was to blame to you? Weren't you? No. You were in a car which you and your friends stole all smoking illegal drugs of some kind. And most importantly, you were driving the car. Do you still think you're not to blame? It wasn't me. It wasn't me, I didn't do it. You can't blame me. You can't blame me, I was a kid. So was she, John. So was she. Do you remember her name? No. Yeah. Her name was Jessie. She'll be 15 next week. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. Do you think I meant to do it? I was 21! <laughs> I understand, John. Really, I do. And I believe that you do too. I just think we have to move forward now. One step at a time. <laughs> Let's take step one together. <laughs> I, I killed a child. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, but I, I killed her. <laughs> John. And now I'm a free man. <laughs>